Yesterday, we reported on vandalized Biden signs in a Foothills neighborhood. They were defaced and spray painted with the word Trump on them. We received several tips about Trump signs also being vandalized and stolen. News 4 Tucson's Ali Potter has that side of the story. Unfortunately, this situation happens during every election and to both parties. Like you said yesterday, we talked about how Biden signs have been vandalized in the foothills. And today, Trump signs stolen on the northeast side. I had a uh, sign both located on uh, the intersection of Bear Canyon and Snyder and here in front of my residence. Then just 12 hours after putting the sign up. It was stolen in the night. According to the Pima County Sheriff's Department, removing or defacing a political sign is a class two misdemeanor. TJ Weiniger says it's not just a crime, but it's also taking away his freedom of speech. I don't care who you support. I don't support anybody going out and uh, defacing any sign of regardless of political party. Um, it sends the wrong message and we uh, all deserve a right to you know, voice our opinions. And the vandalism just continues throughout the city. Here on the northwest side, Trump and Napier signs. Can you tell it's a Trump sign? A Trump sign crumbled at Orange Grove in La Cunata. Scott Peterson says he's put out 400 Trump signs. More than half of those go to replacing signs that are vandalized or stolen. Peterson says he'll put up a sign and within hours. Could put some up and the next day they were gone. I asked him, why keep putting up more signs when there's a good chance they'll end up like this? To support Donald J. Trump, our president, first president in my adult lifetime that actually cares about people. And it's time to take a stand for him. These residents say it's not over until the president of the United States is chosen. I'll keep putting up signs. You can steal my sign, but you can't steal my vote. I reached out to the Pima County Democrats. They say sign vandalism is not a priority. They're focused on getting their candidates' messages and getting out the vote. Signs do not vote. As I mentioned in my report Monday about Biden signs being vandalized, both the Pima County Democrats and the Pima County GOP issued a statement condemning any defacing or destruction of signs. They said if they find out who did this, they'll call police. We've got you covered on the northwest side. Allie Potter, News 4 Tucson.